Yeah, so the last live started kicking y'all out, so I had to start a new one. We're gonna see who pull up in here. The last live, we was at 80 something people, and then all of a sudden it said 40. So I said, I know y'all got kicked. So I just started up another live real quick. Can I get one of them with one cheese? Oh, oh yeah, it's only American cheese, right? Yeah. You got any other kind of cheese? So I want one cheese with the matter of fact, all the same cheese. But could I get one with um ketchup and one with barbecue? That's it. Boom. She's great, by the way. <laughs> I'm always, I'm just really always so nice and complimentary to people. Like I really am. <laughs> I do not know if she's good or not. <laughs> What up, Ky Ky um, Kyra? We're going to see how quick everybody get back up in. If anybody wants to purchase me anything off the menu, we're in Burger King. If y'all want to purchase me a shake or something, that's just going to send me to the bathroom. But if y'all want to purchase me anything off the menu, we're in Burger King. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's one of the main stores I go to, not for nothing. I probably go to this store more than any other store in the neighborhood. Cause I don't go to I, I I can't go to the fucking supermarket no more. This guy's it. Uh, poquito, a little bit. I only want a little bit of mayo. Thank you. And you want the barbecue? Yeah, on one and ketchup on the other. Thank you. So what are we talking about? What which I want to get back into this morning? We were just talking about whatever. I should have put it. I should have put a name in the title, but I I didn't really care for it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, boom, yeah, that's what I wanted, boom. Catch up on this one, barbecue sauce on that one. Thank you. You guys are the best. And cucumbers. I mean, I don't know why I call pickles cucumbers. I've been calling pickles cucumbers, fam. Shout out to um, all the D-Glass when I cash out back in the chat. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. We just here chilling. That guy got a promotion, I think. One of these days, I'm going to come in here and have one of those. Yes, sir. One of these days, I'm going to come in here and have that spicy chicken royale thing. Pardon me, thank you. Yeah, the other live it was kicking y'all out, so I just uh, ended the live and came back. Y'all was getting kicked. You might not have been kicked. <laughs> We're still going to be live. I'm still walking back to the crib, so we're going to be live for a minute. Hold on one second. An Airbnb van nightmare. So somebody was using their van as an Airbnb? People are using their vehicles, their vans, as an Airbnb, fam. How is that a thing? Apparently, it's happening in New York City. That's bananas. 
$124 a night. MS Snitch at Brooklyn Trial described the alleged leader's command to to go do a killing. You dudes better get y'all shit. Come on, my brother. Appreciate you. You dudes better get y'all shit straight. Y'all still out here ordering murders and kept and kills and all this other shit. Niggas need to get y'all shit straight. There's only one real way to say the streets, fam. I'm about to say something really unpopular. Give me one second. There's only one real way to say the streets, man. Y'all gonna have to stop. Y'all gonna have to pull up. There's only one real way to say the streets, fam. Y'all gotta get all of these fake niggas out of the street. Y'all got too many fake niggas in the street, fam. Y'all allow too much hate. Niggas in the and niggas in the hood love to embrace hate. All you gotta do is hate on a nigga. And once you start hating on somebody, they gonna other people are gonna be, you're gonna be other people's favorite person. You understand? You gotta get them dirty niggas out the hood. Not just the physically dirty niggas, but the dirty niggas. You gotta get the niggas out the hood. Men wasn't meant to gossip about other men, fam. Women do it, it is what it is. But men wasn't meant to gossip, fam. The reason why the streets is fucked up is because a lot of these super thug niggas is out here gossiping. And then there's a lot of sucking niggas out here gossiping. Y'all just all want to be whack 100. I don't know no other way to put it. Niggas just want to gossip. There's a couple of things that I want to say about some people that I used to work with. I'm not going to call nobody no names. But there's people that we used to deal with that used to come to this platform. And the main reason why I don't fuck with them no more is because I was trying to do news and they wanted to do gossip. So whenever we would be talking about a topic we want to discuss on the show, they want me to talk about all the gossip involved in the, in the shit. And I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the actual event. I want to talk about the facts. These niggas want to talk about the gossip. I don't want to talk about the gossip, fam. Morning, my brother. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the gossip, fam. Niggas just be out here gossiping. That's how come everybody shooting each other. That's how come everybody arguing with each other. Because all y'all got is, is grown men out here gossiping like, like little girls. They go make a video about one another. So you got grown men who's supposed to be some real street niggas. And all they do is go online all day and talk about the other guy. So until that shit change, what the fuck you expect, man? Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. What the fuck you expect until that change? We got to stop grown men from gossiping like little girls. That's all they do. Y'all love this shit. That's the biggest part of fucking black YouTube now. Grown men gossiping like little girls about another nigga. This is why motherfuckers be like they wish the, they missed the old days, fam. It's not because the old days was better. It's because... There's other times in history where people just were, were better. The niggas do his gossip, fam. Because they don't know how to do news. They don't know how to do no journalism whatsoever. So they busy trying to tell y'all that journalists ain't journalists. Why all they doing is fucking gossiping like little girls. Shit is crazy. Yeah. And I've stood next to some of these niggas while they've been at events like that. And I'm not talking about nobody specifically, just so we can be clear. I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about, shout out to the FDNY, pulling people out of burning buildings. Real nigga shit. So I just want to be clear about this. He's grown. I've been in. I've been places. I've been places with grown ass niggas that's supposed to be the most gangsterous dudes in the whole venue. 
Everybody respect them like they a whole gangster. These niggas is all gangster. They killers, they murderers. I don't know if they killers or not, but you know, they all gangster. And then these same dudes turn around and gossip about another guy like a little fucking baby, like a little girl. So I'm like, what the fuck, fam? And then they talk shit about me, and then I don't fuck with them, and then they mad. I'm not inviting anybody to me. Let's just be clear on this. I'm not inviting anybody to me. But I want y'all to understand how many years have I been called this and I've been called that by people who don't be nowhere near me? Niggas say I'm all of these fucked up things. I'm a guy that don't even like going outside, but I go everywhere by myself. I don't even like going outside. People think journalism is gossiping. They don't have the slightest idea, fam. These dudes out here now that's on YouTube, most of them don't know what... Okay, so... And this is probably an insult, but none of these guys are doing journalism. I'm doing journalism. For the most part because when i can i do but generally speaking most of these people are not doing journalism what they're doing is this part of me when we okay so there was a period of time and i still get shit sent to me but i don't use it for a reason but there was a period in time where i wake up in the morning and every morning i have about 20 or 30 dms or messages right i have <laughs> Shout out to Nick the Slick with the five dollar drop. Definitely appreciate you, my brother. No comment. Clint East with us. If you would like to support the platform, you could always pull up to the Cash App, the Super Chat. That's what he just did, and or the PayPal. Um, also, we have a merch shop. You could go buy some clothes, some merch, some BBM merch. I'm pretty sure we got something that you like, and you can also become a member. Join the Green Team. What up, Ben? What up, Ben Roman? Yo, I could use some people pulling up to the cash app today. Let's see if we can get four or five of y'all to pull up to the cash app today. If so, we probably go outside and we go do something. Who's paying for an event? I said, what's up, Frost? Good morning to you, BB and family. R.I.P. Cheese. R.I.P. the cheese. And condolences. I know you're about to play ball. I'm nowhere near you, fam. Why don't y'all, why don't you and your team come out here to Coney Island? Why don't you get your people together and y'all come out here to Coney Island one of these days and I film it and we go live. If y'all come pull up to play basketball with me today, fam, we gonna go live and I'm gonna film it. Why don't y'all get y'all shit together, jump, why don't y'all get y'all shit together and come out here to fucking Coney Island and we go live on the BBN network and play some basketball. I want some good players. These niggas over here don't pass the ball. These niggas in the, in, in, in the park I be playing in, they don't pass the ball. I don't want them on my platform. It's going to be a cold day in hell before I put somebody on my platform that I know ain't going to pass me the ball. You niggas is crazy. So I'm going to film myself getting frozen out by some people that ain't even as good as I am. I don't even care if you are as good as me. I'm going to film myself getting frozen out. I'm going to film myself playing a game where the people on my team won't pass me the ball. What kind? That don't even make sense. And these same people I cook on a, on a regular everyday basis when they have to actually play against me. But when they play on my team, they won't pass me the ball. Why in the hell would I ever put them on my program for? That don't make sense. take it down he said i go to you we play yeah no pull up pull up bring your peoples too i don't really have no people around here i hoop out with bring your people the kaiser park is cool i just don't like it don't have no shade fam to be honest with you 
Kaiser Park is cool, and they got some good bowlers over there, too. But, you know, it's more like a family community thing with them. You know what I'm saying? Well, all due respect. Yeah. Shout out to R. I don't want to say your, I don't want to say your actual name. Oh, that was you. Shout out to the um shout out to the kid is back. Shout out to the kid is back with the ten dollar drop. Definitely appreciate you, my brother. You the man. Who's next? Who the heck is next, fam? People pulling up to the Cash App and the Super Chat today. Who's next? Let's go. I've been doing content. Them niggas cannot say that you're giving me money for nothing. I've been doing good content, fam, and we outside and we chilling. I've been doing good. If we get a $50 drop right now, we going to Manhattan. How about that? If between now and when this live ends, we get $50 to the cash app, we going to Manhattan today. I might go watch a movie and give y'all a review. Yo, you know what? I'm going to let y'all start sending me to the movies. If y'all send me to the movie, I'll do a review on whatever movie y'all send me to. A separate review, just so we could be clear. Not like a live like this. A review where I just do a review and upload it. And maybe do a live where we could, where we could talk about it in any live. You already know what it is. That's a fact the kid is back. That's what the haters do The haters complain that I don't do anything At the same time they tell y'all don't give me no resources How am I going to do anything with no resources They know that They laugh <laughs> They know that They know I can't do nothing with no resources They just say oh he could do this He could have did that Yeah but that's not the point The point is, is That's not what the people want me to do that point is, I shouldn't have to do what you want me to do. You don't even like me. Why am I doing what you want me to do? That don't even make sense. Once I find out a person don't like me, I'm never trying to do what they want me to do. Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I don't even care. I, I kind of don't even care if I benefit. Shout out to Ben Roman with the one dollar cash app. He said he just want to show some support. That's all he got in his cash app right now. Shout out to Ben Roman. <laughs> he said, yo, that's all I got in my cash app is a buck right now. I appreciate you. That's a fact. I'm trying to get y'all to come. Yeah, yeah, I already know. No, I'm taking it as what it is. You support the platform, fam. If you're a person that pulls up and drop $10 here, $20 there, $5 there, and then someday you drop $1 or $2, I'm not going to take that as a slight. If you're a person that never do no donations, and then you're just trying to be funny, yo, here go 50 cent. Then yeah, you're trying to be disrespectful. I don't even know if I should accept that. Uh... D Block says, I'm by myself, Jack. What's the name of the park? I'm on East Chester Road, heading to Orchard. And that's Wednesday. I go straight to Coney Island. I'm at Seagate. Uh, that should be, I think, 700 Surf Avenue. That's right where the police is for the people that might come here and want problems. Go pull up to 1700 Surf Avenue. You can have all the problems over here. <laughs> <laughs> DM me, I'll, I'll send you the information. But yeah, come hoop. If you got some people to hoop with you, that'd be great too. Or if you got, if you come, then you play with me and we could play against them idiots that don't want to pass the ball. They're not even that good, fam. Like, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. They're not even that good. Like, they're average. At best, they're, at, they're not even that good, fam. They're not bad. But they're not that good, fam. One of them is actually pretty bad. 
But the other one is not that bad. He's not bad. It's just that they got a zero IQ. So that means that whenever you play with them, it's harder to win. You have to hope they get hot. If they don't get hot, you're going to lose. Because they're not going to let nobody else shoot. You understand what I'm saying? So they have to get hot. That's the only way to win. You said 1700, no good. It's like 1700 or some shit like that. Man. It's Seagate though, Coney Island. You just come out to Coney Island, you ride all the way to the end of Surf Avenue. You're gonna ride, run right into me. I, I don't get the 1700 joke though. I'm really want to know what it is. What else we talking about? We got 47 people in here. Hit that like button so our numbers could go back up. But I think that's why people be arguing with me though. Because they're being convinced that I'm saying shit under my breath or I'm trying to say slick shit, which I literally don't do. Being smart is hard being smart because they trick people who aren't that smart that you're trying to do stuff to them when you're not. You know understand what I'm saying? So it's hard being smart. You know how I many people think I'm trying to do shit that I don't even, stuff I never even thought of doing. So it's hard being like, it's hard being smart. With all due respect. People always think you're trying to do some shit you're not trying to do. People could lie on you dumb easy because all they got to say is that, oh, you don't get it. You don't understand. You know, that's all you got to do to trick somebody into hating a smart person. It's all being smart, man. Yeah. The funny thing is, I, I think I'm of average intelligence. So I could just imagine if somebody was like really and smart, really intelligent. I could just imagine what kind of shit they going through. I just hang out with the wrong, I just was hanging out with the wrong people. Yeah, I just, I just, when you smart, you don't got no choice. You can only deal with other smart people because you might love people that might not be smart, but they gonna always see you as a, you know, an adversary. They always gonna think you're doing something. There's always gonna be some weird shit. Right? Shut up. I don't never wanna argue. That's why I avoid people. Well, due respect. I don't dislike nobody. I don't want no bad. You're. All right, you want to holler at my people for a minute or are you good? good Chilling. You got a message for the people today? You got a message you want to give to the people today? I'm on live. If you busy, you busy. You good? Bless as always. Yeah, bless you, man. That's, that's a day, man. That's a fact. Take one day at a time. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Enjoy. All right. outside man that nigga right there i am not gonna say nothing nothing but that nigga right there start telling me mad war stories one day i believe him <laughs> that's all i can say i believe him that motherfucker look dead like some of the niggas i grew up with in the fucking 80s nigga i believe him <laughs> he might be lying i don't know but i believe him <laughs> might not be A nigga look dead like niggas I grew up with. Like dead like them niggas. That like when I was a little jit running around. Motherfuckers that was coming. Like you know what I'm saying. That I was like being brought around or going around for whatever the case is. Nigga look dead like one of them niggas. 
<laughs> I keep trying to tell people, all you got to do is be cool with me. People want to argue with me and have all this other shit going on. All you got to do is be cool with me. I'm a cool nigga, fam. I'm a regular guy. Good morning, gentlemen. Regular guy. I need to get one of those. Hmm. Sheesh. What else we talking about? Put it in the chat. But yeah, next Wednesday, pull up for the basketball next Wednesday, fam. I I don't get it. Okay, so I'm gonna say something. I never get a chance to actually let loose playing basketball. I never get a chance to play anymore. Because what usually happens is I get on the court and people don't pass me the ball until after I'm tired and exhausted from playing defense. So I don't really get to play basketball anymore. I don't really get to enjoy the game. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I just play with the kids. Because I'm not going to be able to play real basketball anyway. Right? I'm going to always be on the team with some motherfuckers that's not going to pass me the ball until I'm tired, exhausted, or hurt. So I don't get a chance to have fun. So that's why I just, you know, I'm, I don't mind playing with the kids. Um, I always came to the park and worked out with the kids, like, ever since I wasn't a kid no more. So it's common for me, and it's, it's, not, it's reg If I can't, if the park don't got good players, we got to make good players. So that means that we got to help the next generation. You know what I'm saying? If the park don't already got good players. The park don't really got good players, man. We got a couple of people that try to come through. We have a couple of people that came that come through every now and then. Uh, they haven't been there in a while, but other than that, there's no real good players over there, fam. That nigga was doing some weird shit the other day when I walked past him. That nigga had the nerve to look at me in my face, fam. That nigga was doing some weird shit yesterday. That nigga, you better stay away from me. What the fuck? I did not see the crane incident. What up, Rugi? What up, Archer? I haven't seen um, in a while. I have not, and I do not worship the devil, fam. People took what I said out of context. I do not worship the devil. What kind of shit? How could I worship the devil when I talk about God every day and I read scripture every day, fam? At the appropriate and the correct way. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Please stop believing everything y'all hear. Um. I don't know about the crane incident. Tell me what happened with the crane incident. Put it in the chat. I don't know. And I only got one phone on me, and so I can't I can't look it up right now. Tell me what happened with the crane incident. Put it in the chat. Anybody died? Anybody got hurt? I don't know nothing about it currently. Gotta get the keys out the car. Yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah, I don't know nothing about the crane incident. Put me on the game. Yeah. I want I want stuff from the supermarket so bad, but I don't want to go to the fucking supermarket <laughs> more than one time a day because I hate going in there. The top of it collapsed and fell to the ground. I don't know if anybody got hurt in Hell's Kitchen. Call Daredevil. <laughs> Call Daredevil. <laughs> Get him on the case. Get Daredevil on the case. 41st and 10th. I used to live around the I used to live around the corner. Mom, I used to live on 38th and 8th. And yes, I'm calling that hotel home. I was there for a year. That was my home. 
for fucking I paid I paid so much rent. I paid so much rent. Shout out to the people that like what we do over here. Shout out to people that like what we do over here. Hello? <laughs> so Shorty just broke her neck to say hi to me. I'm all the way across the street. So Shorty just broke her neck to say hi to me. Right as a dude was breaking his neck to look at her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at the dude though. I'm laughing at the situation because I'm pretty sure I've done the same thing multiple different times. Yeah, I'm talking about that hotel. It was on 38th and 8th. I was living there like a year, fam. That shit was like $300 a damn. It was like $250 to $300 a fucking night. And I lived there for a fucking year, fam. How can anybody say I'm a failure? How can anybody say I can't make money? What kind of shit? How does that don't even make sense? I was living somewhere for a whole year that was between $250 to $300 a night. How the fuck could you don't know how to make money? That don't even make sense. Oh, you spoke to Ike? Shut up. What up, my brother? You, you spoke... You spoke to Ike? Yeah, my dude, I get along. I, I don't not get along with people. I'm going to tell you what happened. People do some weirdo shit to me, and then they don't like the way that I respond. That's it. I'm never doing anything to nobody. <laughs> people do weirdo shit to me, and then they think I'm supposed to bow down, or they think I'm supposed to... You understand? They do weirdo shit to me, and they don't like my response. You can literally just not do weirdo shit to me and then me and you wouldn't even have a problem. You wouldn't, you don't have to do weirdo shit to me and then the same face you gotta make me look like I'm a bad guy. You gotta play victim. That's why I don't talk to nobody. <laughs> That's shout out to Rugi. I ain't mad at you. I, my old assistant put me on today. Remember, we was making enough money that I had an assistant previously. <laughs> anyway, my old assistant, well, she's a young girl, but my assistant put me onto that spot. Morning, my brother. Huh? Carpet cleaner. Sorry? Carpet cleaner? No, no, that's, that's just a power washer. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. It's looking it's looking it's looking pretty nice over there, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. That's a fact. Okay. It's nice, right? Yes, it is definitely nice. I know. That was old What's the PSIs? I don't, oh, I think two thousand seven hundred, yeah. Boom. Oh, that's doing the thing then. Yeah, that's you know, it's it's a, you know the engine, you know, the electric one doesn't create this much, you know. So this is a small engine. Gas power. I bought it like maybe like seven years ago you know and it's still like you know working like the first day <laughs> boom that's what it is yeah you're gonna give me a dap i'm gonna let you get to your work and okay. one of these days you're gonna let me borrow that and clean my sure, shit sure, yeah. you the man i have no idea if he's gonna let me borrow it <laughs> 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 I just be throwing shit in, in, in the conversations, fam. <laughs> I just be throwing shit in. I don't even really be expecting the shit I throw in. I just be throwing shit in, in the conversation. We almost back at the crib. Those are the people that they're trying to convince to hate me, by the way. <laughs> Oh, this is my favorite garden. This is my favorite garden. Oh, there's so many bees over here too today. I mean, at the pollen is pollen in. This is my favorite flower bed. 
these guys right here. I want to make my own flower bed. When I, if I make my own flower bed, people are going to be like, watch. If they make my own flower bed, people might hire me to do this. I want to make my own flower bed, though. This is pretty. I like these. I like these guys right here. And I like these guys right here. But they got a bug issue over here, as you can see. Fucking bugs, man. I like those guys right there. I like all of them. But I like those guys particularly, and I like these guys particularly. They just got a little bugs over here, whatever. Gotta get rid of the bugs. We had a pretty good live today. Mm. Pretty good live today. Feeling good about this live. And the last one. Feeling good about it. I might eat my burgers, take a little relax. I be wanting to do lives a little bit. I also, I went to sleep dumb early last night. Like, I went to sleep last night like a quarter after nine. Like, I was just cocked, knocked out. I ended up waking back up like about two o'clock in the morning. And then I was up for like another hour or two, and then I went back to sleep, and then I woke back up at about 4.30. So, yeah, I went to sleep way too early last night, so I got to try to, I either got to, and I didn't do enough yesterday. Like, I was a little tired or whatever the case is, but I wasn't so tired that I needed to go to fucking sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do enough yesterday. I thought, I, you know, maybe if I did more, you know what I'm saying? Like, I... I don't think I've I, I exercised enough. I don't exercise enough anyway. My whole entire day used to just be exercise. How the hell she get back here so quick? Super cutie. The chick that, that uh, uh, said hi to me from across the street. Super cutie. I will 100% date her. Don't get it confused. I mean, I'm single. I mean, shit, I date this one right here about to walk past me. She thick as shit, fam. Good morning. I like the shape. I'm, she has like the cheerleader-like shape, like the cheerleader. I like the shape. I like the cheerleader shape. I like short girls. With, you don't have to. You don't have to. I don't like the super super thick shit, but I like the. You're yep. what up, my brother? How you doing this morning? Excellent. Trying to stay blessed. <laughs> That's it, my brother. As always, it's a pleasure. Oh man, it's trying to stay cool. Man. Yes, that also. Make sure you get your hydration. Remember, we got to get our water from fruit also. Yeah. Got to eat our water, fam. You also have a blessed day. Answer. You're trying to tell you, people keep telling you everybody hate me, fam. This shit is not true. <laughs> <coughs> See, the thing is, is the thing is this. When y'all see me on the internet, people can lie about me all day, every day, right? They can lie about me all day, every day. Y'all just see me when I'm on the internet. But how can you lie to a person that see a nigga every day? You can't lie to those people. You understand what I'm saying? The people that see me every day, the people that see me practicing what I preach every single day, you can't lie to them. Give me one second. Let me set this shit up. We're about to eat our hamburgers. Dead on live. You could lie. You can't lie to them. You understand what I'm saying? You can lie to other niggas, but you can't lie to somebody that sees a nigga every day. See them practicing what they preach every single day. You can lie to people that don't see you. You can lie to people that don't know. You can't lie to the niggas that literally see me every single day practicing what I preach. What up, Smoke King? You can lie to everybody else, fam, but you can't lie to the people that see me. How the fuck you gonna lie to somebody about who I am that see me every day practicing what I preach, fam? So yeah, you're gonna be able to convince people on the internet to hate me. You're even gonna convince some fucking dumbass niggas around here to dislike me. But you're not gonna be able to prevent, you're not gonna be able to convince actual people who are 
adults that think on their own to dislike me and they literally see me every single day practicing what I preach. All you doing is sending more people away from the message. Doing doing Satan's work. That's all you're doing. I don't care what your reasoning is. That's literally all you're doing. Because I'm just giving God's word every day. <laughs> so. Whatever, nigga. A lot of you can lie to whoever you want to lie to, fam. But the people that literally see me every single day practicing what I preach, doing what I say I'm doing, literally, you can't lie to them. And yes, I am 100% gonna let people know that the individual that's coming around here trying to spread bad news about me, yeah, they did tell me that they were molested. That's a fact. They did tell me that their mother knew. That's a fact. I just don't believe that their mother knew. I do believe they was molested, though. I don't think you tell somebody you was molested when you weren't. Like, not if you, unless you're trying to, like, blame an individual, a specific individual, so you got to throw a name on it, so you pretend it. But you just don't randomly say some shit like that happened to you when it did. I mean, you know how much of a big of a liar you would have to be? And if he's saying, if you're telling me he's a liar, then, I mean, he's lying on me now. So, I guess he is that big of a liar. What the fuck do I know? Anyway. Shout out to Smoking. He said, yo, everybody in chat, thumbs up, please. It's free. Only takes a flick of your thumb. Um, I want to eat these burgers. So what do y'all want to do? Y'all want to go back live again? I want to eat these burgers. I don't really like eating on live. I'm going to eat these burgers, right? And I think we're going to... I'm pretty sure we're going to do another live today. What do y'all want to do? Hold on. I mean, I don't really care about it. Everybody knows that person. Smoke thing. You can help lead the way. I believe in supporting the movement also. I just want them to get rid of that set they had and to, and to not dress the way that they were dressing. I think Cam and May Show will do fine. They're both charismatic. They're both likable. my neighbor if you wanted to talk to y'all. I'll try I I'll, I'll try to remember next time. I think I was just so close to my crib and I was just thinking about coming inside. I didn't think about asking him did he have anything he wanted to tell y'all or speak to y'all about. He probably had a message he could have probably passed. Try to remember next time. Yeah if you see me in the street and I'm walking I don't have a problem with stopping and talking for a minute or two, ever. But I'm just saying at the same time, 
Yeah, but I'm not gonna. If I turn the live off, I might not turn the live back on. That's why I'm just eating the burgers. <laughs> Cause there'd be a lot of times that I turn the live off with the intention of turning the live back on, and then I get caught up into some other mess, and I never make it back. I deal with a lot of bullshit. So a simple not having anything going on negative, it'd be so much to me. it just be so much to me. So sometimes just because nothing bad is happening, I might just forget what I was supposed to do. Because, you know, I'll be in the moment, like nothing bad is happening. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just forget what I'm supposed to do sometimes. Yeah. So I'll leave the live up. I'll just eat the burgers. As long as I ain't have to go to the fucking... Every day that I could avoid going to the supermarket, I'm just happy. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. The one thing I will say about Burger King, I think they give you bacon for free, fam. That's kind of crazy. Like, if I actually still ate bacon, that's crazy. I could go get bacon put on my burger. Well, I'm me. I'm probably getting it for free. So forget it. Uh, we could talk about Melly. What you want to talk specifically about the case in? Just so I have a jumping off point. What you want to talk specifically about? You said Bow Wow wearing off with a girl's money who paid for the feature? Shout out to the Smoke King. He said, I'm leading the way. Let's get it. BB and family. Who's next? Shot the smoking with the $10 drop. Who's next? Nah, that's not White Castle. It's just regular um, Burger King. Burger King is cheaper right now with the two burgers. Where the hell is my thing? I'm looking for a napkin. I, every time I take a bite out of the burger, here we go. Every time I take a bite out of a burger, I got shit on my mouth. <laughs> Not shit, actual shit. Shout out to Smoking. He says, yo, look, I'm a part of the movement. He said, let's support the movement. Pull up. Cash app, Super Chat, PayPal. Or you can go cop some merch. Or you could join the green team. We need everybody to join the green team, fam. Well, being as these guys just filed for a new trial immediately, I definitely don't think the judge is going to uh, give him a bail. They filed for it immediately. I think if they would have held it off, they would have probably had a little bit of wiggle room to try to convince a judge to get bail. I think since they filed for it immediately, 
I wouldn't be surprised if they already spoke to the judge and the judge basically told them, look, if y'all file for it immediately, I'll hold them. If y'all don't file for it immediately, then I might have to get, I might, you know, uh, be susceptible. He might be able to get bail. But they uh, filed for it immediately. So that might be a reason that the judge can use to hold them, you know, to not give it to him. Three alarm fire happened down there too. What the fuck, fam? Hold on. Tenth Avenue between Forty First and Forty Second, a three alarm fire. Is that the thing y'all talking about? Cause right here I'm hearing it was a fire. Hold on, let me see if I could I could uh, read a little bit more of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was it a fire that happened downtown? Cause right here I'm reading it's a fire. Just, I just got an alert. I think it was the tweet, and it, it said it was a fire. So was there a fire when the construction thing? The crane was on fire. Wowzers. That's bananas. I don't know what to tell you. For everybody that don't know, that's right next to the water. So that's in Manhattan. It's on 41st Street and all that. But it's, they got construction going over there. That's next to the water. So that's like about three good blocks away from where any people would actually really, really be a lot at if that's where I'm, if we're thinking about the same place but 10th avenue is like right before 11th avenue and 11th avenue is on the water this i think it's 12th and 11th i don't know how far 12th go down but like that shit is like right next to the water damn homie i might have to go to bk and get me a flame grill burger <laughs> Um, we need to have a basketball day for y'all guys to all come down here to um, Seagate with me, everybody that's in New York. We need to have a basketball day for all of y'all to come down here and hoop out with me at Seagate. I need some ballers, man. These dudes that's out here, like, let's show the kids the right way to play fucking basketball, fam. Like, the kids not even being, the kids can't even look at, at and learn how to play when you got selfish play, the people that play like this. They got this one kid. He don't live in here. He's outside. He's probably a teenager. I think he's in high school or something. He has a lot of potential. And then I see him play with these guys. He was on my team the other day. And I'm busy looking at him like, nigga, you was never going to be able to get better. Like, you're never going to get better. Like, this is probably the best you're ever going to get. Because you play with people that don't know how to play. And since you are, the IQ isn't getting better. Like, there's a, a point where... Your physical athleticism, your IQ has to catch up with your physical athleticism or your physical athleticism has to catch up with your IQ in order for you to get to that next plateau. His IQ is in the dirt. Like in the dirt. Like these guys' basketball IQ is in the dirt, fam. In the dirt. I don't even, I'm, I don't like watching them play even when I'm not on the court. You understand? Um, gotta be the adults to show the kids the new way how to spend extra time instead of uh, looking for effing trouble or getting into trouble. I, they just, this is my opinion. Okay, so there's this one dude, he works, so he lives over here. Um, he used to play, uh, 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 I think he was playing like Division One basketball or some shit like that. He had got injured. He was, he was a baller baller. I saw him hoop. I could tell he was a baller baller. I'm not talking about him. There's another guy. He's a teenager. He's he's about to go away to college. He's he just got signed to like D1 or D2 or T, D2 or D3 school or some shit like that. I don't know. He can ball. He's a player. As soon as he go and get and and play at a different As long as he go 
and plays. Oh wow, that's that's the bad button. As long as he goes and go and play with some other people and not around here with these weird people, his IQ is even gonna go up by it. I think that this kid can make it to the NBA. This is just so we could be clear. I think the thing that's holding him back is he was playing with people who they not good. You understand? Because them kids that I was that was on, they're not good, fam. Their basketball IQ ain't shit. <laughs> now you gonna make a burger for lunch? <laughs> Yeah, these dudes, their basketball IQ is terrible. Like, terrible. The one of them that has the worst handle is the point guard. That's the best way I could put it. The dude that has the worst handle is the point guard. That's the best. That's I don't know what way to put it. I don't, I don't know what way to put it. Zero ways to put it. Man. The, wor the dude that has the worst handle is their point guard. There's a couple of ballers around here, but when, of course you got when you got people like that that's also at the park, it's just a skew too far in the other direction. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to get out there and motivate the kids today, and probably see what they're working on today, and work with them on a thing or two. But I don't even like watching them niggas play. You know what's the proof is that I don't like watching them play? Remember every other place we ever lived? <clears throat> I used to show up to the park all the time, not even playing, and just showing y'all niggas playing. Y'all notice I don't do that over here. I'll say that again. Especially when we was in the Bronx, I used to go to the park all the time and just show y'all niggas playing. I didn't even go to the park with my basketball gear on. I just go to the park with my regular clothes. Notice I don't do that over here? Remember that girl who attacked the girl? Yeah, the dude that attacked the girl at the, that thing that we was at. Yeah, screw that guy. He hit her with the ball. And then when dudes was about to step to him, he said the only reason why people want to fight him is because he's skinny, not because he hit the girl with the ball and tried to fight her. So niggas is weird, but that's hate. You know what I'm saying? When you running around with all that hate on you, you're gonna get in situations like that. You understand what I'm saying? That's just hate. He just, he just, he part of, he probably part of some hate group. You know what I'm saying? Online hate group where they just hate somebody. He just, so his brain don't work right. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I don't know that shit. But yeah, I used to go do shit. You notice I don't do that over here. We went all the way to West 4th to film and not play basketball. Notice I don't do that over here. I literally don't do that because of those two players. I'm not bringing my fucking camera to the park to watch y'all niggas go nut and freeze everybody out. Even when it's not me. Why would I do that? That don't make sense. Why would I literally bring you guys to go watch people play basketball bad? I'm going to go take y'all to people that they only pass to each other. They don't pass to nobody else on the team. Why would I do that? And they're not even good enough to win the game half of the time. They can't even, most of the time, they're not even good enough to win the game. Why would I do that? That makes no sense. All right, good. It makes no sense. The, I, you, I'm pretty sure you guys will never see those niggas on my channel. And I don't even dislike them. 
I don't dislike, I can't, I can't, I don't know. I don't care for them. That's what I'll say. I don't dislike them. Like, I don't want nothing bad to happen to nobody. But, they don't pass me the ball, fam. I'm a basketball player, first and foremost, before almost everything else in the world. They don't pass me the ball, fam. I don't know no other way to explain that. That's personal. That's personal, personal. Hoopers know what I'm talking about. If you hoop, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't hoop, you don't get it. And I'm not talking about niggas that show up to the court every once in a while. I'm talking about niggas that played at a high level. You get it. They've never played at a high level. So I know they're not going to get it. And I know that they're not going to understand. And I know they don't even understand what they're doing. Because they don't even... They, they Basketball IQs are high enough. What else y'all want to talk about? If y'all not want to talk about nothing, we about to get up out of here. What else y'all want to talk about? I'm not in no rush, just so we can be clear. I do want to go out and hang out with the kids today. I haven't uh, been out the park with them for a couple of days. So I do want to go to the park and hang out with the kids today at some point. I might bring the camera to go hang out with them. I'm not bringing the camera to... Them, them niggas don't pass me the ball, fam. I don't want them on my program. I'm just going to be honest with you. I promise you, if you're somebody that don't pass me the ball, I never want to film you doing anything, nevertheless, playing basketball. I'm going to take that shit more as personal as anybody could take anything, just so we could be clear. And just so we can also be clear, I literally have posted them already. Me literally busting the niggas ass that don't want to pass me the ball. I'm going to repost that shit on Instagram. I'm going to go find the clip and repost it on Instagram. Literally me just busting his ass. Just busting his ass. And he don't want to pass me the ball. Nah, I don't. I don't, I don't nah, I don't, I don't fuck with them niggas. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. We've been live for hours this morning, fam. We went live at 7. We stayed live all the way. We only not haven't been live. We've been live, what, since 8 maybe? We've been live for a long time today, fam. Anything else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. Also, check out our pinned, we have pinned merch. Go check out our pinned merch. So we have some merch pinned to the live. Oh, I thought, oh, we don't have no merch pinned to this live stream. Hold on, I'm just going to hit some, hit what I had this morning. See if I can find it real quick. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to have to pin something different. There we go. Boom. We have a pin merch. You could go check it out. I want to go live again today. Y'all pulled up to the cash app and to the super chat like crazy. So I may take y'all to the park today, especially if I'm with the kids. If I'm if these other guys show up, I might literally just turn my camera off. Man. I'm just being honest with you. I don't want these niggas on my program. They don't pass me the ball. I don't want them on my program. I'm just being honest with you. I don't want to argue. I don't want to figure it out. I don't want to know what the problem is. I don't want to figure out how we're going to work together more. I don't want to do none of that. T-Mac on Pat Bev podcast talking about how his legacy would look like if he with a ring. I don't like having what a person's legacy would be if they had a ring. You want, I, I'm going to explain why. Because who they beat to get the ring. That's attached to your legacy more than anything else. Who you beat. And for the people that want to argue that what I'm saying isn't true, think about that bubble ring. A lot of people don't even consider the bubble ring a real ring. So uh, who you beat, the... the, the, the uh,
the circumstances around you getting the ring. Like the circumstances around that. You understand? Who did you beat? So I would have to know who T-Mac beat first. You understand what I'm saying? Because let's say T-Mac got his ring when he was in Toronto and they beat Shaq and fucking Kobe. Niggas would be like... Right? But let's say T-Mac got his ring in Houston and they beat... A Wizards team. Those guys didn't even make it. But they, you know what I'm saying? They didn't beat nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Also, could somebody explain to me how people say that LeBron is the GOAT and he lost the um, uh, um Steph Curry three times in the finals? Could somebody explain that shit to me? He's not even the best. LeBron James doesn't even have the best team in the era he's playing in. When Jordan was playing, they had the best team. The reason why we call the 80s the Larry and Larry and Magic, because the best teams were the Lakers and the Celtics. And then after that was fucking, I guess, you know, late 80s Pistons, early 80s, 76s. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. As um we're going to try to do a live a little bit later today. We're going to figure out a way to make it happen. Um, there are good basketball players in this community. There's another dude that's up the block. I think he's an Indian, East Indian. He's up the block. He nice as hell. He just don't come to this park. It's like all the really good players, they don't come to this park. They leave this park. They need to renovate that park. They need to do something. So we can get the good players to want to play here. So you mean, I, just so we could put this in the appropriate context, uh, Mr. Sanders, Colorado and family, let's put this in the appropriate context. You said, don't forget they were down three to one to come back. No one ever did that in the finals. So you mean they almost lost the Golden State four times? You do know that's what you're actually saying. It took them a miracle to not lose four times to Golden State and Steph Curry. You do know that's what you're actually saying, right? He said, losing is a team thing. Go look at the stats. You're talking about LeBron James that even after his team is winning by 20 points, plays all the way to the last minute? You're talking about LeBron James, even when his team is losing by 20 points, plays into the last minute. LeBron James plays for stats. He does not play for wins. That's why, his fucking, that's why he's lost six finals. If LeBron James played for wins and not stats, he would have won more finals than he did. That's my opinion. LeBron James played for stats. He doesn't play for the win. Do I think he's a great player? Absolutely. I literally think he could have won more finals. The greatest team, finals team Jordan beat? Utah. And the only reason why I say Utah are not the first Lakers that they played is because Michael jo my, um, Magic Johnson was supposedly sick in that series. And they swept them, I believe. Or they got like one win off of them. But the two choices, in my opinion, would either have to be uh, uh, Utah or the Lakers. Portland was pretty good. Don't get this confused. Um... The late the Utah was so good they played them in back to back years. Are you saying Jordan never played for stats? 
Okay, so every player plays to try to score points because if that's your job, if you're the point scorer on the team, you're playing to score points. If you're the rebounder on the team, you're playing to grab rebounds. If you're the dude on the team that gets steals, you're trying to get steals. The difference is this. I believe LeBron James puts him getting stats over the team winning. I believe Michael Jordan puts the team winning over him getting stats. I'll give you an example. There's literal times that plays were called for Michael Jordan. Pardon. That's hearsay. So... There's been literal times that we can see, right? When Michael Jordan uses his ability to score to suppress the opponent. He's not scoring to win the scoring title. He's trying to put fear in the opponent. So every player plays to get stats. But some players play primarily for stats and not primarily to win. I do not believe that LeBron James plays primarily to win. Also, LeBron James sits on the side with the literal stat sheet looking at everybody's stats during the game. What in the fuck, fam? The rest of us just look at the scoreboard. Was Utah better than the Warriors teams that won four rings? If you put the Warriors team that won those four rings in the 90s, they wouldn't get four rings, and I think that they wouldn't get past Utah. Fair? If you put that Warriors team in the 90s, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't have made one finals appearance. Not one. Because Utah had to play with those with those rules. If you put you if you put Golden State having to play in the fucking nineties with the nineties rules, they don't go to the final. They don't go to the finals. They don't make one finals. Since we play in what ifs. If you put that same Utah team in the NBA right now, they go to the finals. That Utah team, if you put them in the NBA right now with the way that the rules are right now, they might win a chip. They would win a chip. But if you take Golden State and put Golden State in the 90s, they might not make the playoffs. You want us to keep doing what ifs? Tori Mosley, answer your own question. What team do you think that's playing right now would win a chip in the 90s? With the style of play that they're playing currently, not with them adjusting. What team? These dudes can't even stay uninjured. Imagine if they played in the 90s, man. These dudes can't even get on the court in the weakest, softest era of the NBA. They get injured and they can't even play the whole season. What the fuck you think was going to happen in the 90s? What do you think was going to happen in the 90s? You think Golden State, they might not have been able to make it to the end of the season without having to pick up four or five players because they dudes would have been injured. Dude. 
Name me one team from right now that you think would have won a chip if you go back to the 80s and we use the, the 90s and use the 90s rules. Name me one team. I can't even name you a team that could, you know who might be able to compete. Milwaukee. Not Milwaukee. Is that the Bucks? The Bucks, right? Milwaukee. They'll be able to compete. Just because of the way the Knicks are currently, they'll be able to compete. Obviously, they're not winning nothing. Miami Heat, they'll be able to compete. Denver, I like Denver. I have to really think about it. They'd be able to compete. None of them niggas is winning the chip. Um, none of them is even going to the finals. Maybe Denver. Yeah, and thank you. You get you get it, Tori Mosley. You get it. The Knicks would have been able to play because they we still play physical today. The Heat still play physical today. None of them prima donna teams, none of them teams with them prima donna superstars is going to do anything, fam. None of them, not one of them. All of them is going to go the way of the dinosaur. None of them is going to win, fam. They're not going to win nothing. With that being said, I'm going to end this live. Uh, We're going to do another live later. Let me get myself together. I'm pretty sure we're going to do another live later. I'm really enjoying talking with y'all today. Uh, really enjoying talking with y'all today. We're going to do another live later. Now, LeBron wouldn't have been on the foul line. LeBron would have been fouled out the game. LeBron's defense is terrible. They would have exploited him. LeBron is terrible defense, man. For the people that don't believe me, just go online and look for all the times he's been crossed over and dunked on. LeBron is terrible defense, man. He does not know how to play one-on-one -on -one defense. He only can play help defense. His help defense is up here. His one-on-one -on -one defense is down there. LeBron is terrible at defense, man. His help, help defense, his help defense is up here. He's one of the best help defenders. But his one-on-one -on -one guarding the nigga defense is trash. You do watch the games, right? Or you just in here to argue with me because you like his sneakers? I like Spence. I like Spence. I don't know who wins, but I like Spence. Crawford is, is tough, 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 tough. I like Spence, though, all due respect. Tell me where I'm wrong at. LeBron's help defense is up here. He's one of the best help defenders. But when it comes to having to guard that man on the island, LeBron is not very good at playing defense. You talking about Jordan's first year where he was rookie of the year and I think he also won the scoring title? Or are you talking about that year? You talking about the fact that Jordan was a nine-time first defensive team? How many times has LeBron been on it? Are you talking about the fact that in Jordan's, uh, the first time Jordan won the chip, I believe, he got the MVP, the uh, uh, All-Star Game MVP. Wait, I believe in 90, I, it wasn't, I forgot what year it was, but one year he got the MVP, the All-Star MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. Has LeBron ever won Defensive Player of the Year? Ever. What do you mean? How many years did it take? What the, his rookie year, he got rookie of the year. And I think he was the scoring champ. His first year. What are you talking about? His first year, he came into the NBA, was rookie of the year. And also, I believe, scoring champ. What do you, why, why does it matter how long it took for him to win a ring? Ask him how, how many finals did he lose? That's more important. 
How many finals has he lost? How many finals has Jordan lost? How many times was the it the biggest game that mattered and Jordan lost? How many finals has Jordan lost? How many finals have LeBron lost? One of them, I think, lost more finals than they won. Nobody dismiss what failure. Tell me a failure I dismissed. Tell me one failure I dismissed. Right as I'm about to absolutely fucking eat to you. I love you, but I'm about to eat to you because I know what you're going to say. Just say it, and I'm going to eat to you. I already know what you're going to say. Say it. I'm not angry. I'm not upset. But you're about to get eaten and embarrassed. Tell me. Tell me the failure I'm ignoring. Tell me the failure. I'm, I'm going to go get water. Give you an opportunity. Be right back. Tell me the failure I'm ignoring. And then I'm going to eat to you. I'm telling you what I'm going to. Because I already know what my response is. Because I'm almost 100% certain of what you should say. I don't know what you will say. But of what you should say. Don't got all day, hurry up. And if you say the thing that I think you're going to say, I'm going to be able to show once again, people consistently talk without using common sense. And then they get mad at you when you do. And this is why you should stop having conversations based on your opinion when people are talking about facts. That's all you got to literally do. Stop having these conversations where all you want to do is discuss opinions while other people are talking facts. That's it. It's that simple. Let me see what he wrote. So, so once again, once again, tell me what failure you're talking about. You don't have no failure, right? There's no, you don't even know a failure. But you want me to discuss a failure. You don't even got one. What failure are you talking about? You don't even got a failure. You want me to come up with your defense against what I'm saying. So I'm not attacking your intelligence. But basically, you don't know how to debate what I'm saying. So you want me to help you. I'm not. Tell me the failure that I'm ignoring. Tell me the failure that I'm ignoring. Tell me the failure that I'm ignoring. You're talking about everything else. Okay, so we know that I'm right. We know that I'm right. We know that I'm right. And we know that he knows that I'm right. Because if, if he didn't think I was right, He wouldn't be 
saying all of this other things that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. And if he didn't know I was right, he would have just said the thing that he was about to say and stopped saying it because he knew he was about to get it. Just deal with me honestly, fam. If you feel a way, put it in the chat. You feel a way, but you don't want to put it in the chat because you know you're wrong. But you still want to argue with me because you want me to admit that I'm wrong. Or at least admit both of us is wrong or both of us is right. I don't do that. Unless both of us is wrong or both of us is right. And that ain't the case here. Yeah, they played harder in the 90s. You see, hey, Smoke King. You see how dude is trying to get into, and then he, there's no, he can't go nowhere with it. He said, I don't want to talk about Jordan failures. I said, so what failures are you talking about? He hasn't been able to tell me one failure of Jordan's. Not one. But he want me to talk about Jordan's failures, though. But he can't even tell me a failure that Jordan did. But he want me to talk about it, though. That wouldn't be a failure, fam. They didn't bitch about getting a little tap on their way to the bucket. That's a fact. But they wasn't getting taps on the way to the bucket. They was really getting fouled. <laughs> I had to get the kids in the park to stop doing that. Because they was paying attention to them other kids that I keep, them other older kids that I was telling you this terrible basketball players. And they was busy. The kids was busy following them. So we had kids that go to the park and they call foul over everything. They call carry over everything, everything. And so you can't play. So I had to break them out of that shit. Then you can't touch them. They crying. They get hurt. Every, they got to stop every five minutes. My wrist, my ankle, my foot. I had to break them out of that shit. I literally had to toughen them up before I could even, I can't even really start actually training them to do nothing right now. Because they still have so much of that bad influence in them that like, I, okay, so I'm going to, so I play with them in a manner that makes it so they have to pass the ball to each other. They don't have no choice. I had to force them to stop being selfish. You understand? So I'm busy trying to really help these kids grow up and be good basketball players. And it's not just going out there and coaching them to do things. You got to coach them up here. You got to coach them up here. What you mean men? Yeah, they was just, they had terrible habits. I'm trying to get rid of all of their bad habits and I'm so I can give them good ones. It's going to take a little while. It might take, because, you know, I'm working with a lot of different kids and I, I don't have no consistent uh, time to work with them. So I might see this one kid two, three times a week and then, you know, I might not see, you know, it's the summer, they go away. So I might see him two, three times a week. I might be able to work with him two, three. Maybe I see him three times a week at the park. Maybe two of those days I get to really pay attention and work with him. You understand what I'm saying? Like really be able to pull him to the side, give him some tips, work with him, show him things and stuff like that. Um, I pay attention to the kids that emulate what they see me doing um, because that means that I can teach them a different way. I don't have to just stand there and say step, step, step. That means I can literally just show them and they can learn from visualization. Kids learn different. Um, Smoking said, laughing my ass off. Michael Jordan carried a team for years and years. That man made basketball what it is today, and people before him made basketball what it is today. I'm going to say something that Michael Jordan did and players in that era did that players nowadays don't do, so I don't think they can ever be players like we previously had. It's like it's not ever, but it's going to be hard, it, it, few and far in between. Players nowadays are looking to switch teams. I remember when niggas did not want to switch teams, where players was pissed if they had to change teams. 
Like, even if they got traded and got more money to go somewhere else, they were pissed. Players were pissed to be traded, fam. Am I, am I, I'm, I know I'm not the only one that remembers that shit. Players used to get traded and, and they be pissed. Even if the team wasn't shit. Nowadays, everybody looking to go over here to go play with their homeboy or over there to go play with their homeboy for a year or two. Then we're going to leave and go play with the other guys, the other homeboy. Like, come on, man. That's shit for us fans, man. That's bad for us as fans. I love when... I didn't like when Barkley got traded to the Suns. I was happy for Barkley. Don't get this confused. I never thought the 76ers was going to give him enough help for him to do anything. Um, but Barkley was a 76er fan. Barkley was a 76er fan. Shout out to Philly. R.I.P. Cheese. Shout out to Gilly. Shout out to Wallow. Um, I'm going to let y'all go so we can get uh, some of our stuff on and if we're going to do a live so we can come back later. Uh, I want to go to the park today. Uh, so I'm thinking about it. Go to the park. Let y'all see. It depends on how I'm feeling a little later. With that being said, I'm going to let y'all go. Everybody, go out there. Do something worth doing, fam. Go do something worth doing in the world uh, and stamp God's name on it. To be a person that every single day, all I talk about is worshiping the Most High. Every day, all I do is tell y'all to go do God's bidding. If you sincerely believe that I worship Satan, fam, I mean, maybe you the one that really worships Satan and you don't know it. That's why it's so easy for you to believe such a thing. Maybe you not close enough to God to understand the markers that he, that Satan uses to try to destroy God's people. Maybe you not close enough to God. Maybe you need to get closer to God. Maybe if you get closer to God, you'll be able to recognize who Satan is. You know that's why we need to know who God is, right? So we can recognize Satan. So we can know when Satan is doing things in our life. So we know the things to pay attention to and to stay away from. Y'all keep trying to fix people that love Satan. You're not supposed to fix those people, fam. Ever. They love Satan. They have the thing that they're doing. That's their responsibility and their duty. Let's love God. That's our responsibility and our duty. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one.